virtual intelligence solution tutorial yeah today we are going to talk about how to perform background tax for example how to call an api in background how to um how to do push notification in background instead of using firebase for push notification with the help of background fetch you can actually create your own push notification with api so in this tutorial i'm going to create a push notification system using php api and flutter some flutter packages first um i'm not the fans of i'm not the type that like um, firebase so i try to create something that actually work for me so i don't want to use firebase push notification and it's not because of some limitation it has so i i try to build something that would actually handle what i need so this is what brought about me searching on how this thing is done so i find i found out that it's very rare to see this tutorial out there so i choose to push it out to people to actually find it easy for them to use so we um the tutorial the packages used first i used the background fetch package this package is also used for fetching um for fetching any that for running any that code in the background like in background when your phone is not actually running the app when the app is running or when the app is in the foreground this package also works but i tried using it to call my apis but it did not work so i didn't use this package so later on i found out that there's another package called work manager this is the package i used you have to actually read through all these things to understand some things about the package i will put the link in the description below also if you are interested in learning about the other background fetch this one i'll put i'll put the link also but the one i use actually is work manager and for the push notification i use flutter local notification package this package is the one i use in showing notifications sent from the api i created so so i won't take much time let's dive into the code um i won't write all the code from scratch i'll just go straight to the point i i imported the packages i would need the convert packages for json the http package to call my api the work manager package i guess that you should have you should have knowledge of calling of calling um, of installing packages on your flutter application like in the pop pop um pop pop spec em I called I've called the work manager, the HTTP and the Flutter local notification. All these are gotten from the installing phase. You will see the dependency that you have to copy. Same here, if you come to the installing, you see the dependency you have to copy. And also you will see the link you need to put in the file. Like import package manager, this is the link you put at the top so that the package manager would work. So after you have actually put all the package in the pop spec em you you once you save it the body pop scape you must have data you must be connected to the internet for the data to add to download what is needed by the package so the package would download and you will import it based on the link they give in the um, documentation so once you've imported the packages the flutter the normal flutter material for the flutter for the material design and the flutter local notification then this is how the background fetch starts this is where it starts i first name the bag i give the background fetch a name yes you must give it a name when you are creating any background fetch let's say you're having like more than one background fetch in a code so all of them must have different names so that the system would know that this is the background fetch they are calling at this time and this is the background fetch i want to cancel at this time so you need to give it a name you need to give it a name so i'm saving the name in a const with simple periodic tax i'm creating a task that is periodic like it will be getting the it will be checking the api for every 15 minutes and it will be sending response to the 
to the push notification here yeah, i'm setting the push notification yes this function gets the data then the um, flutter local notification um, initialization i initialize the class in the i'll show you that i initialize the class inside the work manager here yeah, I will tell you why I did that. Like I initialized the class, like created the object, then sent it to the um, to the function as a parameter, so that I will use it in all these in the push notification, in the local no uh, flutter local notification. If you look at the lo flutter local notification here and the readme, you will understand what that is meant to do. <coughs> you need to set all the flutter notification, flutter notification, this everything. You need to read all these things and understand how how flutter uh, flutter local notification works. How to call like this one select notification. There are more than many options you can use with this flutter notification. You can do a lot with this flutter local notification. So I'm trying to. I did the same thing they did here. So that's what I actually did here. So what, what you want to show the heading of the notification and the, and the notification itself, the message. I'm sending this V from the um, from the function, from the call of the function. So here you must create a future. This is the main of that file. The future must have a widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized. This just ensures that everything you wrote below here works before the main app starts functioning. If this is not there, the, the app will crash. So you make sure you add this line. Uh, especially it must be in future like this. It must be like this in your code. So I initialize the work manager. Since it's an asynchronous, you need to put, that's why I said you need to put future void asynchronous. So it's something that has to do that this with future. So I initialize the work manager. Then this is in debug mode. I set it to true. The work of the debug mode is to let you know that the if the um, background fetch runs successfully or not. So once you are moving your application to live, you need to turn it to false. So I will show you what this does later on. So I started. I registered the periodic tax. The name I gave it on top here. The name I gave it here. Then I how many times I wanted to show five times. How many minutes the interval between each of the the interval between the the interval between each the like the interval you should get like connect to the API like to the function to the code dispatcher. The call dispatcher is a function also when i get here i will explain it so the interval you should give before actually calling the the um, execute tax function of the work manager it is 15 minutes now the interval between how many times you know i said five times here the duration before showing the notification like you should hold on for five seconds after showing the first notification, hold on for another five seconds. After showing, show another, show another notification, hold on for another five seconds, show another notification. So that's the work of this five seconds. This 15 minutes is to, the 15 minutes is to show, is to, is the interval to wait before actually executing the task within the work manager, work manager, um, within the work manager execute task um, method. So now the work manager is key tax method everything you want to run in background all the functions you need to run in background must be written inside the work manager execute tax if you want to call a function you call it inside the work manager execute tax but if you try calling http post outside the like you you, you let's say you created a function and you save this response inside an http post inside the function and you try calling the function the i don't the, i've tried it is not working is it, the work manager fails to connect to it so it's better you put every function that you need to connect to <clears throat> that you need to run the api in, in the background in the work manager execute tax so i created the 
push notification plugin i initialize it then set the icon of the push notification <laughs> All these are yeah, push notification settings, uh, flutter local notification settings. I connected to my API. Then I was trying, um, I tried to test if something is coming from the API and see if it is coming. Then I collected the status of the API because the API is meant to send, um, I'm coming. Uh, uh, yeah, the API is, sent, is meant to send status and message. So if the status is true, that means there is a message and it should display the message to people. So so I'm checking for the so if status is true, then the message should show. Like show notification, I'm sending it as a message. It will go back up here and perform all the tasks. So that's just all you need to set up to run your push notification with from to, to send message from API to any application you know for example from this API I can send any message let me show you the database well, yeah, if it is still running mm -hmm. so this is database I created I set sin to zero if the sin equals zero it should be false I've created API to be false if you want me to do a video on how to create api you can actually comment below then i would create a video on how to create apis and connect it using php so you see it's false here uh, in the api i checked if seen i'm trying to create a notification for you know i'm trying to create a, a notification whereby i want to see if the user have opened the notification if the user have opened the notification i will automatically update the scene to zero so that the notification will not be sent the same notification will not be sending continuously once the user have already viewed the notification so that's the work of this scene here so i'm setting it to one meaning the user have not viewed the notification so and i'm checking for true here yeah, for true in the flutter in the flutter uh, in the footer code one thing you need to note about um work manager is that anytime you are trying to run anything here let, let's say you you are trying to print out something and it's not working you you made a change and the change is not showing you have to run flutter clean and later on run flutter run you have to clean everything again and run for it to work so that's one error that you'll be facing that is constant in work manager you need to run flutter clean if you made a change and you see that it's not showing you need to run flutter clean then run flutter run so that your change will show so let's run the app and see the push notification yeah this is my phone i'm using um visor connected my phone is actually my my this is it i didn't run this on, on an emulator i didn't test it on an emulator this is actually a real life phone my phone is actually on the table now but i connected it with visor to the screen so that i can view it without pressing the phone so let's wait while it is running so while the application is trying to build and run let me clear the notification i have up over here um, so let's wait for it's running so as as we wait for the code to run this this is actually the api i created don't use this api it's not secure at all i remove all security i quickly wrote this api so that i will just explain the function of the work manager and show you that it's possible to actually create a push notification with this system if you're actually a php developer you understand how to create most of this sophisticated system with what i just explained so yeah i tried to connect to the database with this with this thing my database connection then i selected well this it has run this the app has finished building <coughs> so api if you want me to create a video on how to create apis just comment in the just comment below so yeah yeah this is notification virtual intelligence solution i love uh yeah i want to explain something here you see there's another notification showing sources 
there's another one going to show you sources that's for the debug the debug is in debug mode so if it is if the background field you to write failure so you know that your background field so that you'll be able to solve any problem it has before actually moving live so if i should change the message from my database here to um virtual intelligent solution if i should change it to something like that um, it's loading yeah if i change it and i actually now i'm i'm just running auth reload so let's wait for it if i want to create an if videos as videos explain how to create apis and connect it you can comment in the comments below this video i'll get back to you on it so you see virtual intelligent solution so actually you can just create a dashboard in your with php html you create a dashboard connect to this um, database and just send a message from the dashboard so the message will be sent to the application automatically i can also write a message i love mirror the mirror is actually my yeah so if you should reload if you should actually reload reload it again even with the app in not running the app is actually in foreground the notification will still enter um loading disconnecting yeah i love Hemera. so it's something that is very easy i will write the if you don't understand anything i say here just comment below i would explain again in the second part of the video and if you want me to create more videos on flutter how i do things solve problems you can comment also if you like the video subscribe and like and give it a thumb up thank you so much for watching and have a nice day